Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are gonna make some edible cookie dough. If you haven't noticed from like a few of my videos, I like to bake and make yummy, delicious treats. We got oh. Rose Cookbook. We have Rose Cookbook. Um, this recipe is not in her cookbook though. This is one I found on Pinterest. So that's what we're gonna do. Jude just got up from a nap, so he's got some crazy hair, huh? Yeah. Oh, he does not want to be on camera right now. Right. I can't see. <laughs> if you guys haven't ever made like edible cookie dough before, sorry, that was Jude closing the door. He doesn't like doors open, so he has to go and close them. There he is. Hi, baby. What are you doing? You can't you're see it. Into all the drawers. Okay. Anyways, if you haven't made edible cookie dough before, it's pretty similar to just regular cookie dough. You just don't put eggs in it. So, and I think you use like a little bit less of everything. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna put our butter in here okay. and our sugars, and then we're gonna cream all of that. So Ellie will pick some sprinkles, so. Yeah, we have four choices. Four, yeah. four choices, she counted them off camera. Four choices of sprinkles. Yep. Let the mom put all those ingredients in. I'm gonna put some sprinkles. Go ahead and dump the brown sugar in there. Okay. Alright, so I added some milk and some vanilla in here. I'll mix that up now. Yep. Now we gotta add in some flour. Alright, we put our flour in and some people will like bake the flour because apparently you're not supposed to eat like raw flour, but I like to live on the edge, so I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to put it in and mix it up. So these are the sprinkles that Ellie has to choose from. Got some Mickey Mouse ones from Jude's birthday, some 4th of July ones, these Halloween ones, and rainbow sprinkles. Okay. Which ones are you going to pick? I really like the rainbow one, but no. No. These Halloween ones might be too full. Don't know. I don't really want these one because it's in a tiny thing and it doesn't really. So I picked Mickey Mouse. The Mickey Mouse ones, okay. Ellie chose dark chocolate chips for this, so she's gonna dump some of those in. How am I going to do that? Now I'm gonna mix all of this together since that's gonna be a little bit too hard for Ellie. sprinkles and some dark chocolate chips. I'm gonna try a little bit before I put it in the fridge. Can I try some? There you go. Yep. What do you think? Is it pretty good? That's pretty good. I make another recipe but I couldn't find it on my Pinterest. That I think is a little bit better. I think this one uses like a little bit too much flour, but it's still pretty good, so. I'll give one thumbs up. Just one thumbs up? Uh-huh. I don't want some top five. You don't give it up. Two or one. I'll give it one thumbs up too. I'm gonna cover this and put it in the fridge. You don't have to. I just like cookie dough better when it's cold. So that's what I'm gonna do. So Ellie has this like little electric scooter mm. that she got for Christmas a couple of years ago. And Jude mm. loves riding it. Like it's so funny. <laughs>
playing outside in the water table again today because it's pretty hot. Got me a nice Pamplemousse LaCroix. foggy looking stuff is how awesome our air quality is. Utah has like some of the worst air quality if not the worst. Um, so that's fun. Like when I check my weather apps it will say like unhealthy air quality and I'm like cool. I have asthma but let me just go ahead and breathe in all this like disgusting air. Can't wait till I have a Tesla and then I won't have to contribute to the horrible air pollution here. We're done playing in the water table now. Changed Jude into some pajamas because it's like three in the afternoon and I know. And he completely soaked his clothes. Like I'm talking like I could wring them out because that's how soaked they are. Okay, okay. But him and Ellie had fun, so that's all that matters. I think. Maybe we'll watch a movie. I don't know. Ellie's cleaning her room right now so that she can play on her iPad. So we'll see what we're going to do next. Quarantine is really boring. So there's not a lot to do. And Eric has my card today. So we can't really go anywhere either. So we're just kind of stuck at home. But maybe I can convince Ellie to watch a movie with me and I'll pop some popcorn or something. Um, yeah, we'll see. Alright guys, we are making dinner now, so I am going to make some lemon pepper, chicken, and rice, and I'm going to make it in my Instant Pot. Um, Instant Pots are like a lifesaver, but I'm not going to lie, I'm like low-key still scared it's going to explode in my face. Let me take these off. My blue light glasses, and they are like reflecting hardcore, so we're going to take those off. I wear them when I like stare at screens so I don't get a migraine. I really, really like this recipe. I can put it in the description box too if anybody wants to eat it, but um, right now I'm just melting some butter and then I'm gonna saute some chicken that I already cut up. And then we gotta put all the other stuff in and let it cook, so. So you're just gonna saute the chicken in the butter for like five-ish minutes, just kind of stirring it around here and there. Um, it's still gonna be a little bit pink, um, by the time you're done sauteing, but it'll cook the rest of the way through um, when you put everything else in it, put the lid on and cook it. So. so this is what it looks like. I added in some rice, chicken broth, lemon juice, cream of chicken soup, and lemon pepper seasoning. And now we just put the lid on. sure the thing is sealed and then we are going to pressure cook for eight minutes and then we wait. Super simple and really good and it takes like eight minutes to cook. Well, I guess like a little bit longer because you have to like saute the chicken, but super fast and delicious. And yeah, now we wait. I made a salad to go with dinner. I just made a Caesar salad. We don't like tomatoes or cucumbers in salad because that's freaking disgusting. So it's just lettuce and stuff, so. And this is dinner lemon pepper chicken and rice and a Caesar salad. Pretty freaking delicious. Jude. Jude. What are you doing? You're covered in milk, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Hi, you're soaked in milk, sweetheart. <coughs> yeah. I'm gonna even drink this, you guys. And he just like lets it dribble out of his mouth. Like, does anybody else's kids like not quite understand how sippy cups work? I've given him several different kinds and he does this with every single one of them. So he's gonna have to have a bath tonight because he's literally drenched in milk. Me, Ellie, and June just got back from a walk and I am so tired. It wasn't even like that long of a walk, but I worked out this morning and my body is very sore from it. And Jude fell asleep on our walk and he's still asleep in his stroller. He looks really cute though. He didn't take like a very long nap today, so he's really tired. And I knew he'd fall asleep, which kind of sucks because he usually goes to bed at like 8.30 and it's 7.30, so we're probably gonna be up super late tonight. Um, anyways, it's the end of the vlog. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.